Are you struggling to see any sales on your Etsy store? Or maybe you're getting a lot of visits to your store, but those visits aren't converting into sales. If this has been the case for you for the past couple of months starting your Etsy shop, or you started your Etsy shop just recently, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to increase that conversion rate on Etsy. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, first of all, let me talk about what a good conversion rate is on Etsy. I've read online that a good conversion rate might look like one to 3%. 1% does lean towards like that low conversion rate. I would say a sweet spot is 3%. If you can get anywhere above 3%, you're like already doing really, really well. But if you've kind of noticed that you're leaning more towards the one to 2% and you're trying to figure out how to get that 3%, that sweet spot, we're going to start off with tip number one. Okay, so tip number one is to use long tailed keywords in your titles, descriptions, and tags. Most likely you can't really use long tailed keywords in your tags, but you definitely can and should for your titles and descriptions. So I'm going to give you guys an example of home decor. I'm just going to type that into the Etsy search box. It's a very competitive niche and it is also very vague to just type in home decor. So you want to see what pops up. And I actually actually see like home decor wall art and home decor wall art for living room. So you might be wondering how does having a long tail keyword have to do with having a higher conversion rate? The thing is you want to have less competition and a higher chance of ranking so that when people actually look up a certain this like a certain title, for example, home decor wall art for living rooms, yours has a higher chance of popping up and that might lead people to clicking on your digital product compared to other people who might just have home decor wall art as their title. I hope that makes sense. But okay, let's just do this example, home decor wall art. Make sure that you ignore this uh, row because you can see that it says add by Etsy sellers and people are paying to have their products shown. So definitely don't take that into consideration. But here, let's look at the first row. Okay, actually, let's see. Oh yeah, this one, this one's a good example. Tree ring framed wall art. So they're being descriptive. They're saying tree ringed framed wall art. They also have the keyword home canvas art and living room canvas print. This is a, an example of a long tailed keyword. And we can also see that they put the title in their description as well to boost their SEO and their ranking. So that's definitely something that you can do as well. So I hope that helped you guys get a better understanding of how to use long tailed keywords in your titles and descriptions to help you have a higher chance of getting that conversion rate higher. I think I said higher twice. But anyways, moving on to tip number two, have clear professional listing photos. The first thing that a buyer will see is your Etsy photo or sorry, your listing photos. You want to make sure that your listing photos look professional depending on what you sell or they kind of stand out in a way that will make buyers more enticed to click on your photos compared to other sellers. And how you do this is you first want to analyze your competitors and see what kind of color palette they're using and see if you can put a twist on that, maybe add a pop of color that attracts your customers or using a specific font, or you can use certain marketing tactics that will lead to a conversion rate that's higher. So a popular marketing phrase, I guess, when you're selling digital products is instant download. I mean, it makes sense, right? When it's a printable, of course, it's going to be instantly downloadable through your device, through your laptop. But for some reason, it does work with buyers to kind of know that it's instant. <laughs> I don't know why, but psychologically, it does. Consumers want to actually buy the product more or feel more enticed to. So adding taglines on your listing photos can also help too. For example, add a tagline like save more time and energy energy creating your own products. Again, you want to think of your target audience. So if you're selling journals, maybe you can imagine your target audience being someone who wants to be more self-reflective, wants to be more confident. And a tagline could be like, let this be your year of self-growth. 
So to recap tip number two, you want to analyze your competitors and see what kind of fonts, colors they're using and see how you can put your own twist to uh, your listing photos and make yours stand out more. You can also add taglines or marketing tactics. You can use ChatGPT to help you. Just make sure that your photos are professional and clear. You don't want to add too much to your listing photos that, that distracts the buyer from trying to figure out what you're actually selling. So my final tip is to get those reviews. I've said this in my previous videos before, but I think this is so important to emphasize because buyers just prefer Etsy stores that have high reviews because it shows credibility and trust. And that's also the first thing that they see aside from the photo listing. They'll see that number. I don't mean to discourage anybody. I'm just being very honest. If they see like you've got two reviews compared to someone that has like 50, like who are they going to choose? You know, maybe that's just the way that my mind works. But I do know that some buyers out there do like also have that way of thinking as well when it comes to choosing between two Etsy stores. You might be wondering, how do you actually get more? more reviews the best way to do that is for every sale that you make especially in the beginning of your etsy journey just send a thank you a very short thank you message um, i actually have a blog post that i'll link down below of how you can get more reviews i literally went in depth with it so i feel like that blog post would really help you out but you can send you know a really short message and ask the person to just take maybe just two minutes out of their time to help support your shop. You might not hear back from every buyer that you reach out to. I think it's just better to throw it out there and see what happens because honestly, something is better than nothing, right? What if you get two, two reviews from just doing that extra, just putting in that extra time of effort to do, to send out those messages, like I would say it's worth it. And another tip is to just have good customer service. Let's just say that you can't resolve that issue right away. You can say like, oh, sorry, like I'm away from my laptop right now or away from my computer. Let me get back to you later today. It just shows that you're responsive and you're also being professional as a business. Um, I've noticed that when I have really fast customer service, the person that bought my item will just review, will create a review based on my professional like customer service. It's not even about the product that they bought. It's more of like, oh, the seller was so fast at replying and made customizations to the product that I bought. Um, I really appreciate their customer, like her customer service. So I hope that these practical tips will help you to increase that conversion rate. These are things that you could be doing right now. After you watch this video, you can start implementing these tips if you haven't already. And just know that Etsy is a long game. It is not a fast get rich scheme. So just be patient, test and experiment and see what works for your store. When you put in the hard work, you put in the consistency, you'll see that growth and everybody's timeline will look different. I hope that these tips encourage you and if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out to me so if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and um, stay tuned next week for a new video that will be coming out and i will talk to you guys soon thanks for watching guys